So okay guys, so today we are going to see about how to design a dam in Stratpro software. So now we will open our Stratpro software. Now we go to new project. Click on new project. And select on space and use a structure name. As dam design. So the length unit should be in meters and the force unit in kilometer. So after this, click on add beam, click on finish. So now after opening the software, so we have to select this tab and we have to draw our dam. So I'm getting a pathway for the two meters and this is the dam's height and I'm taking this 45 angle. So this is the base and this node, this node and here. So this is how we have to draw our dam. So now we have to close the grid. Now click on translational repeat, click on Z axis. We are taking the one step and link step, click on OK. So now we can see it has linked our steps. So now we have to give the plate to this member. So we will select the 4 node plate and we will give plates to all the members. So like that we have to give. So for this 4 node plate only we have given these many node points so that we can select the 4 node plates easily. So we will rot rotate our structure and we will give four node plates through all our section. So we rotate this one. So now take this one, this point, this point and this point. Again this, this and this one. So then this point, this point, this one, this one. So now again select this point, this one, this one and this one. So we have to select everything and then we can see the in 3D so that our diagram has finished or any anything has missed. So we have missed the base. So here we can see and this front one also. So we will give this so one, two, three, and four. Now this one, two, three, three, four. So our base has been completed. So again, we will check once our model has finished or not. So here it is pending. So everything is closed. So this one is pending. So here we can see our dam has been finished with nodal plates. So now we have to select the beam cursor. Now drag and select the beams and press the delete button. So all the beams will be deleted. So it will be a solid member. So now uh, select the place cursor and select our diagram and go to translational repeat along z axis so default space is 5 so we are taking how many steps we are taking up 10 steps and link the steps click on ok so it has linked so our dam has been created so we can see here our dam so 10 number of gates have been created So okay now uh, we have to define the material for this. So I'm going to general material, click on concrete, assign to view, assign yes. So the concrete has been assigned. So now we will assign the supports. So we'll take the front one elevation, front view, and we'll switch them. Add the fixed one. Click on the supports. So drag these points by pressing control 
you can drag all the supports so uh, we are going to assign S so the supports have been assigned to the dam structure so now we have to define the property so here there will be only a thickness of the plate so we are getting the 0.5 meters add close so click on assign to view assign S so the plates has been assigned to this so the thickness has been added so now we will go to our loads and definitions so click on load case details add click on bed load so so mention it as DL click on add and again click on none it was view hydro hydro ground steam hydro upstream add close you click on dead load click on add now add the cell factor add and close now assign this assign to view assign yes so our dead load has been assigned so now we will take the hydro starting on the downstream side so go to add click on the plate loads select the hydrostatic now click on select plates so now we have to select our plates for this rotate our diagram by pressing the arrow keys now by pressing control we have to select our plates for the plate cursor now select this all the downs to so guys so now we have to select our downstream plate so click on plate cursor now select the plates click on done so the direction is gy because now is 10 to I will take this 22 minus 60. So click on add and close. And see, we can see here the pressure acting on it. So one by one on the downstream. So, like we will also add this to upstream. So click on hydro upstream, we click on plate loads, add the static. Select the plates. Now we have to select our plates on the back side of our bag. So by clicking the control, select the plates. So click on done. So now we have to give this global pressure as 10 and this time 50 and the local z direction click on add close see now we can see the forces acting on it so the individual part so how much it is acting so after that uh, we will add the uplift pressure so after defining the downstream upstream we will define the load cases for the board we click on load cases add and click on add and close now we will generate the combinations for this we click on load cases add and we will define combinations so now we will change the normal one the default one and we will take this yes and this like this we can add and close so here we can see about our load combination from this 
So now we will define the applet pressure for the float. So click on add close now click on load cases file and again go to plate loads so here we are also going to take the pressure on full plates and so here we are going to take our pressure values as 200 and click on add close save this and close so now we have to define this to our plates so we have to define this to the bottom of our plates click on control and press the plates after selecting all the plates once we go to 3d and select whether our down plates are selected or not by pressing control we have to select this and we sign to selected plates to sign yes so see the direction is wrong so we have to take the global y so see our is from the top board. so it is from the downward so we have to select the gy click on change close see it has changed so now uh, we will define the load cases and uh, so we will again give the combinations for this uh, select load cases and click on add click on different combinations select the load case 5 and the uh, downstream add and close so here you can see the pressures in the combination sampling here. So after that, press on analysis, we can add close. So before analysis, we have to select the beam cursor and select our structure and press the delete button. So these are the unnecessary beams that are there. So now go to analysis, run analysis, save. So here we can see only the 9 warnings, so warnings can be neglected, so you will see the output file, so warnings can be neglected, so now we will go to our post processing, select OK, so now we can see the animations about deflection, click on OK, so see there is no deflection about our plates, so select on plates, click on maximum absolute, OK. So here we can see the option pressure on our dam and we can also see the stress diagrams for this. So click on as absolute, click on animation, click the stress, ok. So this is the stress distribution of the diagram of the plates. So how the stress is acting on the plates. So we can see the results about this, the properties, the corner stresses and everything. So now we will design our dam. So now we will go to modeling and click on design, click on concrete, click on IS456, select the parameters which we want to do this. So I am taking the compressive strain and yield strain. So that will be required if any requirement for viewers. So you can select about the torsion or the drag parameter of the space. So width of the section, everything you can take. So I'm taking these two only. So after that, click on define parameters. I'm going to take M30 design. Click on add and FY. Taking 550 and add and close. So I'm go to commands. Click on the takeoff. Add and close so now we have, we have to assign this so click on this uh, assign to view assign s and if i mean you can assign to view assign s so again go to analysis and print add close so after assigning all this so we have to go to analysis and print and turn analysis so this is how you can see our 
product is gone with zero s and go to post passing mode so here we can see if we click on plate click the plates and select the maximum absolute okay now we can see if we select one of the plates so we will be getting the geometry corner stress and property of this plate we can also print individual plate diagrams or else if you want to take the reports click on the reports select the output and select all these click on ok so our report will be generated everything in this so we can print this by clicking the print click on Microsoft to print ok so after that it will go into print our design so we have to name a file and save it it will be saved so this is the how we can do a damn analysis in the Stratco software thank you